as good as I've ever felt. Probably the most famous view of Copenhagen. Somewhere I can find myself. These houses are the prettiest I've seen so far. I feel, I feel so Bakery opened by the former head baker of Tartine. Classic Danish hot dogs. I'm here in Copenhagen. I got in last night and I took a train from the airport to the city center and I walked to my hotel. And it was actually snowing pretty hard. I just got to Copenhagen Central Station and I'm walking to my hotel. And it's snowing pretty hard right now and it's very windy. Today, I'm gonna to check out the main areas of Copenhagen, like the wharf, the shopping streets, and try different bakeries and coffee shops. It's pretty cold right now. It's only 35 degrees and it's also very windy. So I have all my winter gears. Let's go to the next bakery. what the pastry that I got was called but I think it's a Danish pastry with a croissant like texture and it's filled with pistachio cream like a lot of pistachio cream it was very delicious but after a few more bites it got way too sweet I still finished it though a new place a new home for a while let me feel alive these houses are the prettiest I've seen so far First coffee of the day, and also it's really cold, so it's nice and warm in here. I'm here at Nyhaven. This is probably the most famous view of Copenhagen. It's right next to the canals, and there's a row of really colorful houses, and it's extremely windy. Now head over to Torve Holland, which is a pretty famous food hall, and I'm gonna try their Danish food. I didn't realize they have savory porridge, otherwise I would have gotten a risotto or some kind of wholemeal. Now I'm at a different place in the same food hall. I'm gonna get one of the most famous Danish food halls, Morner Board. It's like an open face sandwich with different meat, fish, or vegetables on top. I got the one with egg, cauliflower, and truffles. It's better pretty good. It's much better than the one that I had last night. I'm gonna spend the rest of the afternoon walking around and maybe do some shopping. I'm currently going to Hart's Bakery. This is a bakery opened by the former head baker of Tartine. I love Tartine, so I think I like this as well. I was craving something savory, so I got the sausage roll. It's a sausage inside a croissant bun. The sausage is very savory, and the croissant bun has a lot of different seeds and stuff on top. Honestly, it reminds me a little bit of those Chinese sausage buns, but it's definitely not Chinese sausage inside. I just got lunch at Grod. It's the same porridge restaurant that I went yesterday. This time, I actually got the savory kanji. I got the Asian chicken kanji. It comes with kanji with chicken, and Asian sesame sauce, and peanuts and cilantro on top. 
and it was actually really good. So I would definitely recommend coming here and getting their savory kanjis over their dessert bowls. And what I've learned about Danish food so far is that it's generally quite salty. But maybe that's just how it is because they have to cure everything when the country is so far north and it's so cold. Now I'm going to head back to our city center and I'm going to go up the Christian Borg Tower. It's a free viewpoint with a panoramic view of the entire city. <music> gonna head over to Christiana. This is the free commune area where they don't have laws but just self-govern within the community itself. It sounds really interesting and I'm really curious to see what it's like but I'm not allowed to take photos or videos. Honestly it feels very normal. It's like a giant park with lots of graffiti, lots of street art and houses and shops feel just like anywhere else. Okay, I walked further into Christiana and it was edgier and they were definitely more strict about no photos. Christian Street is the main street where they sell all sorts of things. There are many people on stands selling weed. A few people even came up to me and asked if I want anything. But when I said no, they were super nice and they're like, have a nice day. It's definitely a very different vibe than the rest of Copenhagen, even though it's only about 15 minute walk from the central area. their classic Danish hot dogs. Surprisingly, hot dog is a very popular thing here. So I've got the roasted hot dog with the classic sausage and everything on top. So that's mustard, ketchup, mayo, pickles, some fried onions. You know, tastes like a regular hot dog. I think I do prefer the Costco hot dogs over this because it's twice the size and probably like 20% of the cost but pretty good after some beers. All right, that's it for Copenhagen. Hope you enjoyed, subscribe, and stay tuned for the next video in Budapest.